Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. I'm happy and lucky to be a part of this national conference on applied science and advanced materials 2023 in Skikda University for present my work at Tulila, enhancing face kinship verification through this Gabor Wiglitz and written speech. So for that, the plan of this presentation is based on three main parts. Overview of kinship verification, outline of the proposed approach, implementation part, and finally, conclusion. Overview of kinship verification. Kinship verification it is a process of verifying whether two persons or more are biologically related means belong to the same family. So, for example, kinship verification system can say that these two people are kin and these two people are not kin. Okay, contribution of this work are summarized as follows. We propose two new methods on the pre-processing stage, which are retinix filter and electrical mask. We propose new methods for future extraction based on Gabor, we have called his Gabor. We use the multilinear space approach for kinship verification by using new methods called TXQDIA. We build a robust and automatic face kinship verification system based on a high order tonsil representation of face data. So how does that work exactly? The kinship verification process depends on extracting useful information from face images. By useful information, information we mean filters. So that make the kinship verification process falls under the field of automatic face recognition and verification. And since we are verifying biological relations, it also falls under the field of biometric problems. Among the unique challenges in this field are gender and age. Across age, for example, between father and son, brother and sister, father and daughter. Now coming to the common challenges which already occur in automatic face verification system. The post variation presents a problem in face detection and verification. As you can see here in images, this person have three different poses in title, side view. Another problem is the presence of structuring element like beard, glasses, hair, and sometimes occlusion. The facial expression changes a lot. As you can see here, dealing, expressing, regret, smiling. Another crucial problem is variation in animation presents another challenge. As you can see in this picture. Also, image resolution plays a crucial role outline of our kinship verification system. The pre-processing stage is responsible for preparing the facial images to the training stage. Face images are resized to 200 by 200 pixels to identify the face region. To improve the image quality under different lighting conditions, in the pre-processing stage, two different techniques are used, the retinix filter and the electrical mask. The retinix theory was first raised by Lang and Mack in 1971. The retinix is to remove the elimination impact from the source image and get the reflectance image. The source image S can be separated into, into, into the reflectance image R and the elimination image L given by this equation. As the human faces have elliptical shapes, most works on face recognition use an elliptical template and ignore the regions outside the complex that contain many uncertain factors. Here we also use this kind of elliptical mask. We crop the face using ellipse masking of the procedure as shown in this figure. We extract future using our new approach based on Gabor Wavelet called this Gabor Descriptor. The input face image is compiled with the Gabor filter yielding 40 different texture images. This wavelet image are subdivided into car non overlapping block, and each block is summarized into a histogram of 256 bits. Then the histogram of different blocks are concatenated into a single vector of size k by 256. This vector represents a biometric signature of the person in the data set. Like any biometric recognition system, we have two phases, training and test. Our firmware encompasses four important steps. The pre-processing of data, the future extraction using VGG16 future and the proposed test cover futures, the maintenance and space learning using TXPDA, comparison based on cosine similarity. 
In the training step, we create two thirds of the tensor A and B, in which the view one represents parents and the view two represents children. During the training phase, the optimal metagenia transformation matrices are estimated for each tensor mode. In the test phase, the new samples are projected using these transformation matrices. So, the two test tensors are projected in a new specific space based on Chisclia method. Consequently, the dimension in each input tensors are reduced. Results and discussion To evaluate the performance of the proposed kinship verification approach, we consider the kinship benchmark data database corner in phase. The corner kinship dataset consists of 286 images of 143 subject pairs. The facial images in this database are frontal paws and have a neutral expression. We perform a number of experiments to discover the best results for kinship verification. The fixed parameters for the copper wavelets used in these experiments are detailed in Table 1. Here, we present the results of our experiments conducted on the kernel in phase dataset by using a basic system. That means without Xenex and the elliptical mask. From the table 2, we can observe that the high performance achieving an accuracy date of 92.45%. Here, we present the results of our experiments using two kinds of preprocessing with high hist gabor wavelets, in which table 3 illustrates the mean accuracy for a Tinex filter method, and table 4 illustrates the mean accuracy for elliptical mask method. It is evident from our observation that the Retinex filter consistently outperformed the electrical mask method across various number of future projections, ultimately achieving the highest accuracy of 92.76%. The following table showcases the outcomes of applying combination between the Retinex filter and electrical mask methods during the pre-processing stage. It is noteworthy that this fusion strategy yields a remarkable performance on the, in the kernel pin phase dataset achieving an impressive accuracy rate of 93.80%. The comparison demonstrates that our proposed method exceeds the recent state-of-the-art on the coronary key phase database. In this work, we have highlighted the following points. We described an overall robust approach for pre-processing stage based on two methods, Retinex filter and electrical mask. We presented an efficient approach for phase kinship verification using his Gabor wavelet sponsor futures. To enhance the discrimination of the proposed phase representation, we have used the TXKDIA method for multilinear space learning. Our results confirm that the fusion between Retinex filter and elliptical mask with handcraft future helps increasing the verification of kin relation accuracy. Thank you for your attention.